Good day everybody, my name is Troy Goldie, marriage officer and uh, welcome to my latest vlog in the series of vlogs about venues that I'm doing weddings at. I am on my way through to a beautiful little town called Franschhoek and um, I have been doing weddings for many many years and I have the pleasure to go to different places. Right friends, there's a uh, a site, I don't know, that building there, I did a painting and uh, I'll show you what it looks like, the painting that I did. Uh, yes, besides being a marriage officer and besides being a photographer and videographer, I'm also an artist and uh, that particular building is a building that I painted a while back and uh, yeah, it's on screen now so you can have a look at it. Right, so we're coming into Franschhoek and uh, there's a bit of blue sky above us which is fantastic, which means that I'm not wet, which is a good thing. Alright, and we are now about to head uh, to the Franschhoek cellar where the wedding of uh, my wonderful couple is taking place today. And my wonderful couple is a stunning uh, couple called Jonathan and Christine. And here we are at the gorgeous Franschhoek. Even in the overcast weather, it is fantastic. I must admit, it is very, very cold. And I know that because my fingers are shriveled up. And you know what they say about fingers that shrivel up? <laughs> We're just about to arrive at the Franschhoek cellar and uh, I will do a little bit of vlogging there. On my right here is Richty Bridge and if you look closely on my right hand side there's the tram, it's the wine tram and that's the tram that will take you all the way through Franschhoek where you can stop off at different uh, different wine farms and different wine places and you can try different wines it's quite a feature here in Franschhoek and one of the places that I'm sure that it stops is where we're going which is the Franschhoek cellar which is coming up here on our right hand side just shortly and directly in front of us, ladies and gentlemen, is the Franschhoek Cellar. That building that you can see in the distance, that sort of earthy color, that is the place we are going to. Although we're not going to park um, in the front of the building, we're going to go around the back of the building and we're going to park at the back. And the actual wedding itself is not taking place in the Franschhoek cellar, this building, but in a building over there, which is the actual cellar itself. But this is the uh, beautiful venue for today, and uh, we will obviously chat about that now. Wedding, 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 wedding. That's where we want to be at the wedding. Hello, sir. Hello. Find yourself. I'm going to be marrying a beautiful couple. <laughs> Must I just go follow the road or? Yeah, just follow this guy. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm the events manager at the French Cellar. Christine and Jonna got married here today. Um, it was a beautiful wedding. They got married in our mount, uh, mountain view venue and we have so much more to offer so please come and visit us.
Hello, Christine. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Good. Ricky, are you alright? Yeah. Just stand there, don't run away. You okay? Yeah. I'm good. Okay, cool. Stand there next to Ricky. Please be seated. Excellent. Uh, is, <laughs> sorry. Were there onions being peeled or something? All the way. All the way. I thought you were this hard, um, macho man. But it's just the beard. <laughs> can I just give you a high five? Because I, I, think, I think a groom that cries on the day of his wedding when he sees his bride is absolutely beautiful. So, well done. Well done. Christine doesn't care. She hasn't got a tear in her eye. But, <laughs> you know, so obviously you didn't have the same impact, but it's okay. It's not a problem. Um, it gives me such great pleasure this afternoon to welcome each and every one of you here to a special event. I want to ask this question. Who presents this bride to be married today? I do. <coughs> I do. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, you an actor? <laughs> it's part-time. Part-time, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you can give a kiss to your sister and then depends on how much you like him. You can do whatever you like. There we go. Awesome, you can have a seat. Thanks, Ricky. Can you guys stand next to each other? Oh, yeah, you, you're not sitting down, you're standing. Hello? Yes, sorry. Okay. I just thought there was something private happening here. You re you, the reason you're here is you're here to make a promise to each other. Okay? So that's what we need to focus on. That's what we need to celebrate today. Okay. So, or I already mentioned... Beautiful venue. I mean, look at this place. What atmosphere it's got. But you know what? We have got the presence of God as well. So we're going to ask for a moment that we just close our eyes and ask for God's, pre uh, you know, His blessing on our coming together. Your love is so special that you can't take it for granted. Who said I love you first in this relationship? Really? I feel like taking my high five back now. <laughs> okay. Christine, on this day, I give you my heart. My promise that I will walk with you hand in hand wherever our journey leads us. Jonathan being here with our family and friends. I'm not afraid to promise. I'm not afraid to promise myself to you. Myself to you. Heart, body and mind. Heart, body and mind. I promise to be your ally in conflict. I promise to be your ally in conflict. Your friend in adventure. Your friend in adventure. Your consolation in disappointment. Your consolation in disappointment. Your accomplice in mischief. Your accomplice in mischief. <laughs> Right, can I ask Estelle and Lynette to come forward, please? You guys have chosen to light the unity candle. Uh, for those that are not aware of what the unity candle represents, there are two smaller candles, which I'm going to ask the two moms to light, which is a representation of the flame and the life that they have given to you guys as individuals. So if you could light your candles, please, ladies. That's why I love weddings. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you, ladies. Right, so you have now lit the candles, and these candles and the flames represent the lives of these two wonderful people, your children, where they come from, their histories, the families. And I'm going to ask the two of you to come forward to take your candles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the pronouncement. And I'm going to ask you to light the unity candle. Once you join your flames together, the reality is you can never, ever separate it. In the presence of God and before these witnesses, Jonathan, Christine, you've given your consent and you've made your vows to each other. You've declared your marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring. I therefore now... <laughs>
Were you a difficult child? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still am. It's still going. It's still okay. going. Right, let's get this done before it's gone. Com <laughs> ah, you see, now there. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just going to take the light off. Kyle to the rescue. Again. Hey, man. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, you don't have to be there this evening, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You can just, just, just have a chat, just, just have a chat to Jonathan and just explain a couple of things. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. In the presence of God and before these witnesses, Jonathan, Christine, you've given your consent, you've made your vows to each other. You've declared your marriage by the journey of hand, by giving and receiving of a ring. I'm going to ask you now to light your unity candle. And as you do that, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you as husband and wife. You are to be husband and wife from today for the rest of your life and all of eternity. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Schmidt. Make some noise! That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's the wedding for today, the 8th of July. Uh, so this is the wedding. It's now done and dusted. What an amazing couple, Christine, Jonathan, you guys were. Uh, a lot of laughs. Uh, I think we had a lot of fun, and I think it was very meaningful. Uh, and it was great to see you, Jonathan, having a bit of a shed of a tear at the beginning. So that was awesome. And uh, yeah, it is uh, pretty cold and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to getting home and uh, putting my feet up and relaxing for the rest of the weekend. I just want to say to both of you, Jonathan and uh, Christine, thank you for being an awesome couple. It was an absolute pleasure to be part of your wedding. Uh, thank you to Chanel for saying hello and welcome. Uh, to uh, the venue. Thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen, um, for the details of uh, the French Cellar. You are more than welcome to contact Chanel. The details are on screen now, and uh, you are more than welcome to contact them. Um, Chanel will be able to help you. Uh, it's actually a very stunning, stunning place. The, uh, the cellar is wonderful. It's actually very, very nice. Uh, nice and romantic, a lot of atmosphere, which is awesome. And then I want to just say, um, my name is Troy Golding, Marriage Officer. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being part of this journey with me. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog about this, the Franschuk cellar. And uh, you can contact me on my details on screen now, Troy the Marriage Officer, or you're more than welcome to contact me via my email address, telephone numbers, Facebook, or you can even get hold of me using uh, my YouTube channel, Troy the Marriage Officer. Uh, if you feel you would like to, it would be lovely to have you to subscribe, like and share my video and my vlogs. It would be lovely to have you along for the journey or get other people. So once again, my beautiful Saturday afternoon, another wonderful couple married and a wonderful, absolutely magnificent, magnificent venue. So until next time, thank you guys, see you and cheers, goodbye.